Through powerful workshops, seminars, and keynote speeches, Sean promotes, inspires, and empowers thousands of individuals each year to take action and reach their full potential. Walked into my hotel room, a nice Hilton, and I had the 23rd floor. And I was tired. I had not even prepared my speech for that event when I decided I'd watch the game. So I grabbed the remote control and I started clicking the power button. And the strangest thing happened. As I began clicking that power button, nothing happened. So I kept clicking and clicking and clicking and clicking and clicking. And nothing happened. And at that time, I got the strangest sensation all through my body. I felt like I was having a stroke. My body started to twist and turn on me. My left arm felt like it was getting numb. So I said, forget the game. Let me roll over and pick up the phone and call and push zero so that I can get some medical assistance. Well, it was at that time as I picked up that phone and got ready to reach over and push zero for the operator that I realized that the remote control to my television was Velcro, biggest day on the front of that television. I didn't have the remote control to the television. I had the remote control to the sleep number B. <laughs> and I had worked my sleep number all the way down to zero. It was zero on the side. I felt like I was having a stroke. <laughs> and right then and there, I got a vision. Today I talked about vision boards. I got a vision. I said, this is what I'm going to do my speech on the next day in New York City. Because there are so many of us, so many of you, so many Americans, so many people across the country, you wake up every day and you push that same button. And you know what? You get the same result. You find yourself pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. You don't even take the time out to smell the roses or smell the coffee. And you realize that you're living what we call the definition of insanity. That you're doing the same thing every day and yet you're expecting different results. You just cannot do the same thing every day and expect that you're going to get different results. But let me add a little twist to that. If you want something different, you have to be willing to do something that you've never done. It was very eye-opening. Um, I learned a lot of new techniques and things that I need to instill in my everyday working life to better the whole team building process to reach our greater goal for our whole department. So Sean did a great job. Two thumbs up. <laughs> I had an excellent time with the class. Um, I really did learn a lot. I appreciate your words. Um, really, it will play true with my everyday life here at work. And I can excel further. I appreciate it. Sean, the training was great. We got very great tools. Um, the team and the department is looking forward to the new year. We're looking for change. We're looking to incorporate rewards, team building, performance. Um, you've done a great job. Listen in as Sean walks the audience through dealing with change. That's the moral. That's why this exercise is not so silly. You told me you were open to change this morning. I asked you, how many of you open to change? All of you say you're open. And as open as you are, your body is just subconsciously rejected. That's how hard it is for us to accept change. Now, some people come back at this point and say, well, Sean, yeah, I saw that, but... I deal with change every day. You do. You deal with forced change every day. If you don't get with the change that you deal with every day, they're going to change you out of you. So you have to be open-minded to change. You have to get your body, do these little things within yourself to get yourself to get out of your comfort zone. These things are all little tools that will help you break that barrier and start accepting change more. Because I'm telling you, although most of you wanted to do it, your brains will subconsciously reject the change because it's used to doing the same thing the same way. Up next, Sean shows managers and supervisors the proper way to give constructive feedback. This is how you do it, my friends. Mandy, can I see you in my office for a moment, please? Sure. 
You always do it in private. Once Mandy gets into your office, you say, Mandy, I have some things I want to talk to you about. I have some things that I've observed. Some of those things are great things. And then I have a few problems that I need your help with. Are you willing to help me with those problems? Sure. Mandy, please explain to me why you've been tardy so much over the eight weeks and the change in your performance. Then you shut up and listen. Once Mandy explains to you why she's been tardy so much, then you say something like this. Mandy, what can we do to turn this thing around? Now here's the flip side. Here's not sweet. Mandy, <laughs> you late again. And I'm telling you now, I won't tolerate it. When you're not here, I have to pull people from their jobs to cover you. I got to you. Oh, y'all are serious. It's <laughs> <laughs> not my fault. Mandy, I'm telling you, it's a problem. And if you want to keep this job here, I suggest you get it right. Because if you can't get it right, you'll be out there at Good Burger saying, Welcome to Good Burger Home on a Good Burger. Can I take your order, please? <laughs> I have some bosses that will come to you like that. That's up. That's up. The reason why you do, what did I do the first time with Mandy? And thank you very much for participating. What did I do the first time with Mandy? I showed her why she's a benefit and asset to the company. If you don't validate them as an employee, if you don't validate them, they're not going to listen to you. They're going to shut down. But at the end of the day, did I accomplish what I wanted? What do, what do I really want? Do I just want to fire her or do I want her to change the behavior? Sean is a highly sought after speaker, trainer, coach, author, and entrepreneur. Through powerful speeches and workshops each year, he inspires thousands of youths and adults throughout the country.